Hello, it's Angel. I was not really planning on making a video, but we had a surprise come in the mail today. So I'm gonna make a video about that. These here are our new guests that will be staying in our house, helping us with some of our uh, beginning stages of infestations of pests in our plants that we're growing and these will help with the aphids the white flies and many other things spider mites different small insects those are wonderful snacks for these beautiful little ladybugs here Jay has been doing a lot of research and he discovered nematodes here in this package. There are three different kinds of beneficial nematodes. There are, I guess, are multiple different kinds of nematodes. Here in this package, we have three different kinds of nematodes. He bought the one that has all three of these beneficial kinds. Each kind of nematode is represented by a little icon like this is a purple SC. This is a red SF. This is a blue HB. And if you turn this paper over, this entire list right here are all of the pests that the nematodes will help out with. Now if we take a closer look at this list, you will see that there are the little icons for the different beneficial nematodes. So all three will help with cucumber beetles. The SF will help with fire ants. So there are lots and lots of different insects here that these nematodes will help protect our plants from. So we are gonna put those out first and then we will be releasing our 300 beautiful ladybugs onto our plants. Now what are you doing? Um, it says to take water that's between I think 55 and 69 degrees and you can do anything from a gallon to five gallons worth of water. Uh, that's really not anything that's particular. You just want to get a solution that you can mix up and get on the soil so it gets soaks in the, the nematoids into the soil uh, so they can start working. So basically what the water is doing it's a little heated from where they were shipped at because they're all shipped between 30 to 40 degrees so they stay dormant. You're putting them in the water that heats them up kind of activates them kind of like a yeast would. Um, but once you get it activated and kind of mixed up in here, we will put it in a sprayer and then spray it on all the plants and try to get most of it around the soil area. Um, you know, the ladybugs will be taking care of the stuff that's on the leaves, the aphids, the, the white flies, things like that. Uh, but these are more for a, a larva base. Um, uh, oh, like, uh, you're like squash vine borer larva, your, your uh, fungus gnat larva. Uh, so like right now, a big thing with indoor plants is fungus gnats. So what these are gonna do is they're gonna go in and they're gonna eat off the fungus gnat larva. And that's the main reason why we're doing it today. Uh, between that and the white flies, we have an issue with that as well. All right, so Jay purchased these off of Amazon. And at this point, I am doing my second attempt for my Amazon affiliate. And so what I will do is I will leave a link in the comments below if you are interested in getting your very own beautiful 
house guests like we have here or nematodes to put in the soil of your plants and then that way you can find them pretty easily just go down in the comments below now if I am approved for this Amazon affiliate thing I would probably get a little bit of commission off of it but I think this is super important and I know we did the ladybugs last year and it definitely helped with the aphids and the white flies and the spider mites and so um, doing it again this year was definitely something I wanted and we're doing twice as many this year as we did last year. We did 150 last year I believe. So uh, here in just a minute we will release the ladybugs and we will spray the plants with the nematodes. Getting all of that nematode water in the plants on the soil. Were there any special instructions about spraying it? Um, it just basically you didn't want to spray. Um, you want to do it early morning, afternoon. Uh, they don't really want to be around the sunlight, UV, uh, heat, at least until they get down in there and get established. Um, but other than that, just you know the, the 50 to 69 degree water. Uh, don't get a sprayer that has it's a real fine sprayer because uh, it can clog it up a little bit. I think it said if there's a filter uh, to take the filter out because um, as we were stirring you definitely could see uh, a bunch of like mushed up uh, the, the material that they're they're in doesn't completely dissolve. So um, you know I probably will even do some of these without the sprayer uh, just because I can already tell that this is clogging up. Um, but I'm just trying to get a little bit in each one. I did make probably about two gallons worth of water, so I can always come back through and put some more in. Uh, being the first time, I really don't know all of what we're doing here. So um, We're learning. Yeah. All right. Here we go. The ladybugs are getting released. Maybe don't want to hurt them. Get down, little baby bugs. Get down. Get down. Not in the corner. Not in the corner. There we go. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to try and put them on the plants that we've seen signs of infestation on so the peppers here some of them are gonna go on the peppers maybe uh oh all right here we go little ladybugs they're excited I think they can smell their food. They're everywhere. Jay's daughter Lily is locking herself in the bedroom this weekend because she said last time we had the ladybugs in the house they killed her and she doesn't want to die again. <laughs> But I have a feeling she'll be out here playing with them soon. Okay. If a ladybug landing on me is luck, then I'm very lucky today.
I have ladybugs all over me. Come on, need a ladybugs. Come out, come out. Wherever you are. This guy really likes me. He doesn't want to get off of me. There we go. There's the leaf. Don't you want to go on the leaf? Find your food, little friends. Go eat your dinners. Alright, that's about all I've got for you tonight. That is our impromptu ladybug video that was not planned out at all. I hope you all enjoyed it and if you want to get your own ladybugs or nematodes, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Thank you all for a wonderful visit. Hope you have a wonderful day. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing something right. If you want to see more videos, subscribe and you can hit that bell icon to notify you anytime I have a video come out. We are also on Facebook and we post some things. We don't have a way of posting on YouTube, so you might want to check that out. I am new at Instagram, but I'm learning and posting some things on there, so you might check that out if that's one of your things. But till the next video, love your guts. Have a wonderful night.